Hello and welcome to this new edition of Fortisor Demo Scenarios. Today we will see a quite common scenario where organizations are required to keep a list of indicators blocked in their environment. They can receive this list of indicators via email or they can download it via a URL or via web link. The very first phase is Fortisor uh, getting the data, so basically getting the email or fetching the uh, indicators from, uh, from, the, uh, from the web, and then parsing it in order to create local uh, Fortisor indicator of compromise. Once the indicator of compromise are created, Fortisor automatically rates these um, indicators through the enrichment process, and it gets further uh, data on, about these indicators from various uh, threat intelligence uh, services. The last stage is basically taking all these indicators and then adding them to the security policies or the various systems in the environment. In this scenario, we're going to use uh, FortiGate where we will uh, block all these uh, indicators that were received either via email or via the, uh, via the web service. We'll jump now to Fortisor to see how this logic is being implemented. So we have a number of playbooks which will implement this automation workflow. The first one is uh, process indicators from email. This playbook is the one responsible for parsing the email and then creating the indicators out of the data parsed from that email. We can check the execution history to have an idea about the uh, individual step uh, role in, in the uh, automation. So the first one will basically just get the raw data and then we create a uh, list of usable indicators within 40 uh, SOAR and then we create the indicators uh, in the uh, system as a, um, a regular 40 SOAR indicators. Uh, a very similar process is done for the indicators uh, which are downloaded from, uh, from the URL. So we have this second uh, playbook, process indicators from a web service, and then we can see uh, basically what the, uh, what the execution does. The playbook first downloads the content of the list using the um, Fortisor utilities, and then it stores it in a variable. And then we parse this variable to create a uh, list of um, uh, raw indicators that we'll be using to create the actual indicators in Fortisor. And then once these indicators are created, they will be automatically rated as we will see uh, right here. So in the uh, threat intelligence uh, section, when we go to indicators, we'll have all our indicators that were created either uh, from the email or from the web service. And then the enrichment process kicks in in order to, um, uh, in order to have uh, further data about this specific indicator. In this case, we are using VirusTotal, uh, cyber, cyber, cyber Threat Intelligence Integration, in order to have uh, the rating of this specific IP address. This will, this will help the analyst in a, in a real-life deployment in order to take a decision whether to actually uh, take an action against these specific indicators or not. So, for example, a threshold can be uh, set in order to uh, decide whether a specific indicator is blocked or not. The next stage is basically to take all these uh, indicators, regardless from uh, from uh, their uh, so, uh, source, and apply uh, or block them in, in the environment. Uh, as mentioned earlier, we are using um, FortiGate for this purpose, and more specifically, we're using this playbook to perform the, uh, the action. So uh, we can check the execution uh, history so we see uh, exactly what happens. So first, we start by gathering all the relevant indicators. In this case, we are using the indicators from both email and, uh, and web service. And then we create a list of, um, of values, of a list of, of IPs uh, within these uh, indicators to, so we can send them to, to FortiGate. And then uh, finally, we divide this list into multiple batches, you know, in order to um, uh, prevent, you know, uh, blocking maybe thousands of IPs at, uh, at, at the same time, which the API of FortiGate or any other device really could prevent uh, potentially. So this uh, 
creating batches will allow us to uh, to send these or to block these uh, IPs in, um, in in several uh, during several iterations. Uh, the final step is uh, obviously to uh, actually do the blo the block operation, and here we can see that the two batches were uh, blocked, and this happened via the referenced playbook. So basically, the main playbook, the block indicators uh, on FortiGate playbook called um, the um, 40 gate batch IP quarantine playbook to, to, to perform the actual uh, blocking operation. And we can see the result from each uh, action. And here we have the newly blocked uh, machines for the first batch. And we can see the other, other uh, machines that were blocked in the, uh, in the other batch. And that's it. So the whole process is now automated from the moment the email uh, is received to the moment the, um, the indicator is blocked in the, uh, on the infrastructure. It's exactly the same process whether the action or, uh, happens on, on a firewall or, uh, or an endpoint device or, or uh, a um, web application firewall or any, any other uh, security device in the infrastructure. All right, uh, that would be all. Thank you for watching and uh, catch you in the next one.